All right, guys, what is up? It is your boy, Will, back with another video today. These stocks are crashing hard, okay? I did buy for the long term today, so I'll give you guys the stocks that I bought today. Also, um, some future ones that I'm looking to add. I did add one today also to my long term account, so we'll go over everything. Some key levels I'm looking to buy heavy again. On some of these, I did buy a little heavier and some future ones make sure you guys smash that like button subscribe if you are new and let's get straight into it the first one is paypal okay you guys know i have been buying paypal probably since about the 115s to 120 i've been buying paypal when it had this run i did not buy because i feel paypal would drop below 80. as you guys know i have a big buying level around 90. i'm changing that to 80. 80 dollars is where i will I will most likely put my whole position in because I've been buying slowly in here, right? Buying slowly because I'm believing it will fall below that $80 mark. Once it does that, I will be going heavy. The high was about 310. So it's down already about 69%. And once it gets to that 80 mark, it'll be down over 74%. And this is a profitable company, company that I use that I know very well. This is going to present some huge returns, okay? I'm also thinking about doing some 2024 call options on this one. I haven't made my mind yet, but once it passes that uh, below 80, I think that is when I will get those, okay? So make sure you stay tuned for those. It'll most likely be a VIP play. So make sure you join the signals. First link in the description. I know I'm buying and selling for options and shares, but PayPal is one that I did buy today. Also, AMC. I kind of wanted to let you guys know, go ahead and claw these levels. AMC, I was thinking about getting puts on AMC, and as you guys know, the money I make from the puts would go to the long-term shares, but AMC is losing a lot of momentum in here. So every scalp that I did in here, that profit kind of uh, mitigate the risk that I have for the long position that I still hold. So I'm looking to play it in between here, but I was almost about to get put options on AMC. I just didn't like how the option chain kind of looked on AMC. If we go out to like the April 14th or so, I kind of don't like these. They're kind of high up right now. They're a little high. So I was hoping we get some push up because I was probably going to get these contracts and I wanted these to go below 50. Right now they're about 53, $59 for the bid and ask. And I wanted that to be around 40 something dollars. So I'm still looking to possibly get puts on AMC. It's around a little flat after hours, maybe down about three cents or so. But if we can get some push up to above 16 or so, I think that might be a good time to probably get some put options on AMC. And like I said, the profit can just go to the long-term shares. It's kind of like the market is paying us to uh, buy more shares. Tesla, okay, let's clear all these levels off also. Tesla, I have been buying Tesla. I still feel, if you guys remember, I've been telling you guys, I feel Tesla might drop below 600. So. I've been buying Tesla, of course, because Tesla 800 is crazy numbers. It used to be at 1240. And also, I believe since what's going on with Russia, so we're down about 33%, so not down that bad. But since everything with Russia, gas prices going up, I think Tesla is going to get more consumers because of that. They're going to realize gas is too high. I think a lot of people are going to switch to electric vehicles. And what is the number one electric vehicle that has back data that's, peep, that's on the road? People have been testing it. Tesla. Okay, so Tesla, I've been buying it. I still feel it might go below 600. So 600 is my big buying level. I'll go ahead and put a level down there right around that 600 mark. That is when I'll throw the whole position in. Okay, I won't nibble a little bit. Nope, I'll go heavy. I'll buy all of it at that 600 mark. But until then, I'll be just buying slowly because I feel these prices are lower. Just imagine Tesla in five years where you think the price would be of Tesla. If you think it's going to be over $2,000, $800 is very cheap compared to where it will be. Just from right now to the recent highs, that's already a 50% gain without it reaching that $2,000 mark, which I think it will reach, especially in the next like three years or so. But that's 50% just back to the old highs from where it is now. So big, big, big gains coming on Tesla. But that big $600 level is really where I'm looking at to go ahead and just load the boat up. But I have been buying in between then. Next one is Square. Square, I have been buying also. Square, um, I think Square is like the number one financial app right now for Cash App. And PayPal is the number two with PayPal and Venmo. So you can see why I'm invested in both of those. PayPal, have been, I mean, uh, Square, I have been buying heavy also. 289 was the high. It's currently down about 64% on a very profitable company. Just amazes me. Look at this deep dive. This is when you make your money 
buying on the lows okay this you want to be cautious of trade it sideways got a little weaker pull down now i'm starting to buy more and more shares of square i think it's going to be well over 300 400 in a couple years so buying at 100 dollars, especially below 100 dollars, is crazy prices i still feel it might drop i don't know how far i feel like i actually feel like we're getting close to a bottom on square i don't know how much lower it can go but i think we are getting close to a bottom i would say probably the only real level that i think it might fall to is probably like around 75 dollars so i'll put a big buying level around that 75 dollar mark but i really think we're getting close to a bottom on square so i have been buying a little heavier so you want to make sure you kind of watch this one i do think it's getting close to a bottom and with paypal but i think paypal is going to go a little lower to 80 but this one i think is getting close to a bottom this is one i've been buying also all right guys video is sponsored by me big 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 announcement with momo you can get your momo account second link in the description you can deposit any amount to get up to three free stocks. I, again, you can deposit any amount to get up to three free stocks. Once you open your account, you automatically get one free stock worth of $3 to $3,500. And then you can deposit any amount to get one free stock worth $9 to $3,500. And then you also get a free share of NEO. Okay, so if you ever want to own NEO, this is your time to own it for free. This is only good until March 31st. So this is your time to start getting a free share of neo you also get you could deposit a dollar and you almost make over a thousand percent return on your dollar because you'll get a, a one stock worth of three dollars thirty five hundred nine dollars thirty five hundred and also a free share of neo so make sure you get your momo account second link in the description do not miss it also make sure you get your buy and sell signals to know when i'm buying selling for options and shares we do have the original signals right here. You get my buys and sells. We also have a chat room where we talk in the markets every day. We also have a crypto room where we talk also. So make sure you join. Make sure you get the VIP. VIP is almost full. Once it is full, it will be closed. So make sure you get the VIP. You get four monthly live teaching Zooms. You actually get one every week. You get 24 seven access to the crash course. So the crash course does come in the VIP. You also get your own VIP structuralized plan to better help you trade in this market. Like I said, VIP is more of me teaching you how to trade. So make sure you join. All these prices are going up soon. So make sure you join now. And also, if you trade Forex, make sure you come join the Forex Academy. We teach you guys how to trade over here in Forex. Very, very, very important if you guys are in the Forex market. You get 24 percent access to your own crash course, trade breakdowns, live Zooms, all that. And then Stock Market Options Crash Course. You can use Will Half Off to still get 50% off Stock Market Options Crash Course. And let's go back to the video. Net. Flix, ticker symbol N F L X. Oh, and Square was S Q. Tesla was T S L A. I think I forgot to say uh, the ticker symbols. Make sure you guys smash the like button and subscribe if you like this type of video. We're just going over all the stocks that I've been buying and future ones that I've been looking at. Netflix, buying this one also. Everybody has a Netflix account. Everybody knows Netflix. Using Netflix, something with Netflix. Netflix isn't going anywhere. The high was about seven hundred. So it's down over 51%. So cut half of the gains. It's almost down back. Let me go out a little bit longer. Let's zoom out. It's back to almost its March levels of 2020. So it erased almost two years of price movement. It almost erased two years of price movement. So all this was canceled. Okay, so we're back to 2020 levels, which is crazy. We could go even lower below like 260 or so. So I am kind of watching that. I'll probably put a big buying level at about like 280. So let's put that on there just so we can watch it. Probably around 280 or so. That could be a potential level to kind of go heavy at. But like I said, I see a couple levels that Netflix can probably break down to. But I have been buying Netflix. I like these prices. Like I said, it was at 700. It's at 341. In a couple years, I'm pretty sure it's going to be well over 700. And again, in 2022, this year, the stock market might not do much this year. So just be mindful of that as you're trading. I don't expect big gains this year. I feel like the big gains are going to come 2023 and 2024. But I'm starting to build the positions now as they are dropping because I don't want to miss the opportunity. So Netflix has been one that I've been buying today also because all these have been pulled back. The new one that I added to my long term is Moderna, okay? I was waiting for Moderna to have that pullback and lose that COVID hype. So all this was COVID hype. Uh, COVID started around 2020 of like March-ish. So all this I believe was COVID hype. 
all this move right here was COVID hype. So it had to lose that. I was expecting some big drops after COVID kind of died down and it has died down. So all this kind of lost its momentum and it's pulling back to kind of like its normal type of pricing. So I did start a position, long position, holding for a couple years on Moderna um, today. Okay, I finally started. I was waiting. I feel this is a good time to start it. It lost a lot of its value. It was almost around $500. And currently it's like around $129. So it dropped about 73%. Moderna's down 73%. Huge, huge drop. So I have been looking to buy here. I did not go heavy yet. I did put a nice little amount in. So say example, I want to have like 10 grand in Moderna. I probably put around two grand right now. So about 20% of the position I did put in because I feel we will drop lower, possibly below 100 so that's what I'm kind of looking at right now, possibly below 100 to like 90 or so. So we'll put a buying level. Let's put a buying level at 90. I feel we might be dropping at least below 100, but I'll just put the level at 90. I think below 100 is very, very cheap for Moderna, very good company. And also with their mRNA technology, which is the ticker symbol mRNA. I think that's going to do wonders, especially anything within this field is going to do good also. So below 100 i would really start going heavy but now i did start building um that position and also nvidia okay so nvidia i have been buying not too heavy i feel it'll drop below to like the 160s or so and we're still about 215 the high was about 346 so we're down about 37 percent but if you can notice that 37 percent drop isn't as big as like 70 percent 60 percent so i do feel my um the video will have some more drop i have been buying slowly i was also going to get some put options on the video but i didn't like the spreads you see how far these spreads are usually that'll be harder for us to get in and out of plays and i didn't want to go this far back i kind of want to get closer up so uh, this might still be a potential play. Some put options on the video. I think those will do good, especially if tomorrow's an update. But it is down after hours, about like $3. So we'll kind of see what NVIDIA. I was hoping to get some put options. And then the money I make off those put options go to longer term type of shares. So we'll kind of see how tomorrow is. But NVIDIA, I am buying slowly, not too heavy yet. Because I feel it will drop below that 200 mark for sure and lower. Last one is Enphase. Been buying Enphase. Every energy um, type of stock is doing good right now because of Russia and stuff. But I have been buying Enphase. I bought Enphase down here. Now, as it's going higher and higher, I've been buying slowly and slowly. When it falls, that's when you want to be buying heavier and heavier. When it starts going up, you want to slow up that buying because you want your average low. So once it runs up, you can make the best type of gains possible. So Enphase, I have been buying. I've also been thinking about doing some call options within phase. I just haven't um, found it yet. And these are pretty high considering the run that in phase has had. Right. So they're pretty high right now. And I feel like a lot of money is going in phase and these energy stocks like CEI, um, OEG, some energy stock like that. I feel like a lot of money is going into them. So it's kind of bringing up the prices of the options and stuff. But I have been buying slowly, looking to buy more. And I kind of see how it plays out. I'll probably update you guys on this one. I feel a big play might come in phase. So uh, thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you guys appreciate this type of video. Make sure you smash the like button and subscribe. Always remember, no recommendation to buy or sell anything just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.